Hi and welcome back, we're Honey I Roam. I'm Amber, Juliet's is my girlfriend, and our dog Winston just drove the longest distance we ever have for the shortest event ever. When we realized this, we were in Florida and we Googled where in the United States has the longest viewing time for the total solar eclipse. Drum roll please, Uvalde, Texas. And that's only one hour from Riverbend on the Frio in Concan. So we thought, let's pack up, let's plan our whole year around this solar eclipse, this four minute and 32 second viewing time. We're gonna be here at Riverbend for, we're thinking about two weeks. So we wanna get our whole area set up. This isn't just a set up shop and leave the next day kind of spot. So we're gonna put out everything that we have. And now that I'm thinking about it, it'll be a pretty good test run for how it's gonna be in Colorado. Cause we have some new things that we're adding this time. Blackstone. This is the new tent that we got. We're gonna see how we like it. It'll be nice to be able to grill outside instead of relying only on our little propane stove in there. How are you? I've been sneezing all day yeah. long. What's the weather? Yeah, totally. Good. There's your Yay. friend! There's your friend! Uh, yeah, you're Not the best. <laughs> That is too cute! Ta -da. We're just gonna do this little makeshift setup for right now. We have that canopy, which we're super excited to set up, but we have some friends who are visiting right now, and we all went and fit in there, and the weather's perfect, so we're not gonna put it up quite yet. We just got here, and I'm toe up. Look at this camping hand. Look at this, I got a cut, and then it scabbed over. The next day I got another cut, and I just looked down, and I got another cut. I didn't even know. I know, I know. Be more careful, Amber. I will, I will, I will. <laughs> what do you got there? <laughs> I just Look at these cocktails. Gorgeous. By Marissa, the queen of cocktails. She really is. <laughs> we didn't tell you yet, but Eric and Marissa from the Cummins Camper are here right now. They're parked right next to us. And we're so glad. Feels so good to be with all of our friends in a place that we hold so close to our heart. We're having a nice time through some chicken thighs, some ground beef and peppers, got some Spanish rice, and we're just enjoying some food and hanging out together. Old man, keep running. You better get out while you can. We were broke, cold, let in, pushed out. Our friends to up and leave this town. Last night was super fun. We griddled up some food. We had a fire. We just talked till like 10 p.m. and then went to go wind down and chill out, get some rest. Cause we're working. We're back to being working gals. I can't decide what jacket to wear. What do you think? So this is we hang up all our jackets right here. Most of them at least. Yeah, and we can only fit about five hangers, so I put two things at least on every hanger. Good outfit choice. Adorable. Oh. Hi. Morning. I you. I Morning. You. How you feeling? I'm well, my allergies are kicking my butt, but yeah. otherwise just yeah. started retaking my meds this morning, so mm. a really delayed reaction. They're gonna know all your details. <laughs> yeah, good. I am allergic to pollen. Spring allergies kick my butt, and I do a great job of migrating with yes, pollen. Yes, you I do. I follow it from like March until July almost. Yeah, so this area specifically too, all the cedar trees, people get what's called cedar fever, and it just gives this like reaction, kind of like a flu. Yeah, it's a big thing. Everybody gets allergies here pretty hardcore. Mm, I'm gonna miss you guys, but I'll see you in a whole nother state soon. Yeah, it's gonna be a short gap of uh, not seeing each other. I know. Florida, twice, three times. And three then. Or four. It's only been Florida, though, I guess. Now we're in Texas, and then yeah. we'll be in Colorado all together, so it's gonna feel good. These two are gonna end up being our 2024 Friends of the Year. <laughs> Hanging out with them definitely the most it's looking like for 2024, which is That's great. Funny. We're not mad about it. We've never had a canopy with. Have we had a canopy like no, this? No, never like this. Never like this. We're gonna set it up right now. Julieta already got a head start. I saw her working on it and I ran outside. Let's put it up. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
This is going well. <laughs> There's one over here. Whoa! Whoa. This is pretty cool. It's really cool. All we do is pop, 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 pop out the walls, pop out the top. I think we'll just have to stake it down. We really want this because we need bug protection and we like a little bit of privacy. Mm. Good, to Good see morning. You. Good morning. How are you? Can't complain for being an old man. That's right. This is Jim. He's a camper. He's a honey. And uh, he's having some celebrations here at Riverbend on the Free. He was nice enough to come visit us out here. Always. You got a new yeah. rig, huh? Yes. Bought a brand new rig since the last time. Yes. He really oh, likes he really you. Does. I love dogs. <laughs> you can tell he how sweet tell. you are. Oh. Yeah, we've been having a good year though. It's been a nice, like, slow year, just like enjoying and then the, ourselves. Did you enjoy the Christmas tree lot? Yeah. Well, that's why we're like not stressing as much. Thank you so much to Blue Eddy for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna be featuring the Blue Eddy AC240. This has actually just been released on April 2nd. The Blue Eddy AC240 stands apart from all the rest because it is the first IP65 rated power station. That means that it's water resistant and dust proof. Since we're gonna be living off grid in Colorado this summer, this is crucial for us to have a comfortable life. Not only is this water resistant, it also is dust proof. So that means that it can handle all of the Texas dust that we're throwing at it right now. And we're gonna be going further out west, so it's just gonna be more sand, more dust that we're gonna be throwing at this power station. How this is gonna help us is we're gonna leave this outside and we're able to actually plug the camper directly into this. So this does have a 30 amp plug, which is our standard camper plug on board. We'll be able to plug the camper directly to this power station. So that's gonna be huge for us whenever we're gonna be living off grid. Some of the key technical specs on this one is the AC240 has a 2400 power output and it has a 1536 watt hour power capacity. What's also huge because we're gonna be living off grid and relying on this is this charges super fast. We're gonna have it plugged into solar panels. Uh, when you plug it in directly to an AC outlet, so if you have shore power, you can charge this. You can charge this to 80% capacity in 45 minutes. If you wanna have a full charge, it's gonna take about 70 minutes, so keep that in mind. But it is one of the fastest charging I, I just plug it in, leave it for just a little bit, come back, and it's at 100% already. You have this plugged into 1200 watts of solar power. That is the maximum that you can use. This will charge fully in two hours. You also have five ways to recharge it. So you can plug it into regular AC and charge it just like I was telling you. You can plug it into your car while you're driving to charge it. You can use solar and AC in conjunction to get an even faster charge. You can also use a lead battery to charge this or a lithium battery too. The AC240 features a dual parallel operation. That means that you can use two AC240s in conjunction with the parallel device P480. It's on the Blue Eddy website. And you have a reliable home backup system. If your house was ever to go off the grid or if there's an emergency situation, you can rest easy knowing that you're gonna have power with the Blue Eddy. As far as the product safety of Blue Eddy, the battery management system that they have in here will protect it from over temperature, overcharging, discharging. I cannot rave enough about these. I just feel like the sleek look of it, uh, the ease of it, the fact that we can just leave it right in the camper or leave it outside and plug it into the camper it's just a game changer for us, especially since we're gonna be being off grid for four months in Colorado. So to have the reliability, the security of having a Blue Eddy to charge all of our stuff, to be able to still make YouTube videos, it's gonna be huge for us. Check out Blue Eddy links in the description box. Thank you so much to Blue Eddy for working with Honey Air Rome and sponsoring today's video. We have been here almost one week. It's been a really jam-packed week. Uh, we've been preparing for all the guests in the off season. It's cold here. Not a lot of people are swimming in the river. And now it's getting warmer and now the park is full with all kinds of happy people. So there's been a lot of little things to do. I am covered in all of this colorful dust. We just had the Easter party here at Riverbend on the Frio. And we had a child pinata, we had an adult pinata, there was an Easter egg hunt. And then we do a holly party where we throw this colorful powder all over each other and it is a blast. Can you see? It's all over my legs, all over my shirt, all over my shorts, it's still coming off of me. Now we're gonna jump in the river. This is the original golf cart yeah. from Riverbend. It's from the 1960s. It hasn't been in working order. And now look at us go. Look and y'all know wheel. Shannon. Hi. He moved like a magnet, wearing holes in the carpet. Count steps to the back porch. Same song. Sign of rain. Woo! Our 
actually here for the solar eclipse and we wanted to help them out with that. We're going to be preparing for all of the campers that are coming, but also the people just for day use. This is one of the areas in the path of totality, so that means that it's one of the longest viewing points for the solar eclipse. We're trying to not leave for the next two weeks. What we're trying to do is just grocery shop for the next two weeks so we have everything that we need, enough water. That's usually our biggest issue is getting enough purified water. We were trying to go as long as we could without going to the grocery store, but with this eclipse that's happening, we're so unaware and it's just so unforeseen as to how much traffic there's going to be. We've been seeing all of these conspiracy theories and got to get all your water and we just don't know how traffic is going to be on the road. It's a really small road, one lane in, one lane out around here. So we're not gonna risk anything. We're gonna fill up our gas tank. We're gonna get as much water as we possibly can and even some extra, get every single thing that we need. We're gonna get extra food, extra vegetables. The thing about fruit is it just doesn't last that long. So I freeze all that I can, but our freezer is about three inches high. Nine to five was my dad's advice. Don't think twice, I want the luxury life. I got my roadie banana. Juliette grabbed a granola bar. Eat my granola bar. It's a roadie. We never have to wonder if Winston wants to come. As soon as you open the truck door, he's in. He's game. I take what I want. groceries last two weeks for both of us and for sharing at parties we're gonna we'll try see. we re-upped our hot sauce we ran completely out we had no hot sauce we love this tiger sauce it's sweet it's not that hot it's just the kind that you can pour on everything and we like that and then when we're in texas we like the valentina four dollar what is this a greek salad cantaloupe with some tahine some chocolate milk. I never drink chocolate milk, but I was craving it. Now, Julieta, on the other hand, was having something that I would say no thank you. Hard-boiled egg, turkey sausage. I do not like hard-boiled eggs. I do like deviled eggs. But hard-boiled eggs, I, don't, I know it's an unpopular opinion. People love them. They're a great source of protein. I just, just when you blow out your nose and you have that eggy taste, Oh my gosh, something else Amber doesn't like. She thinks I'm picky. Now that we got all of our chores done and we're back at camp here at Riverbend on the Frio, I want to treat myself to something a little bit nice. It's afternoon time. I like to have a little afternoon coffee pick-me-up and we're going to be making a special coffee drink. An espresso coffee drink. Fresh one just got from the grocery store. How I have like creamy espresso when we're on the road is this little Nano Presso. It's a Wakako Nano Presso. We're not affiliated with them whatsoever. I just have this in my coffee setup. It makes really good creamy shots of a single espresso. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Look at that. It's a little espresso spritz. It's like a summertime Americano. Really nice way to have a cold, refreshing espresso drink. I made that espresso really strong too. I'm a little late to be going swimming right now. It's 6.30, 
but I'm gonna do it anyway because I have it and look how blue it is right now. I brought everything to shower afterwards. Should I go? I'm gonna go. This is the recipe we've been talking about for years. For years, it's finally happening. Actually for like two years, it's finally happening. It's time to cook. We are doing a Texas recipe and this is King Ranch Chicken. No, there's no ranch dressing involved. We already cooked up an onion, a red pepper, and a poblano pepper. We're gonna mix that in, make it nice and creamy with a can of cream of chicken, cream of poblano, a little bit of chicken broth, and then we're gonna layer that on top. I pulled apart a rotisserie chicken, so we're gonna take our creamy pepper mixture, put that on the bottom, chicken, some tortillas, some cheese, and then we're gonna do it again. A lot of these recipes just call for putting the tortillas directly on there, but I went ahead and just lightly fried them in some avocado oil, because I thought it'd be a lot better. We're gonna put some of this creamy mixture on top. Now we're gonna do it again. I guess we could put, I don't want, I don't want a bunch of cheese on it, so we'll wait to put the cheese on till the top. So. Does this look so good or what? Super easy too. Any of you know I'm Dutch ovening a lot and cooking over a fire? We got those gloves you were talking about. I listen. We're doing a Dutch oven 350, so that's gonna be 14 briquettes on top and seven on bottom. But this is such a creamy thing, it's not even that big a deal. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on top because a lot of it's just totally room temp. And we're gonna let this sit for like 20 minutes. I had some green onions, I threw those on there. That looks good. I'm gonna throw some cheese on top. Can you see that? That looks so good. Can you see it? Casserole extraordinaire. Ooh, the inside is really nice and tender. Ooh, look at that. That looks delicious, ooh. I put parchment paper on there. Mmm. Yeah, you gotta get that corn tortilla with it because mm. it's really the pepper's sweet. Something is sweet in it and it's so good. It's the pepper. I got really it. creamy, really saucy. The peppers add a nice little sweetness to it. Mm. The scallions on top. Mm. Wanna try it, Winston? It's really hot. Come here, jump. Set. Good boy. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> he did it. That was so cute. Are you happy with the English muffin? Yes. He's happy with English muffin no more too. Egg biscuit. <laughs> He'd like an egg biscuit? Okay, no problem. He's a good boy. You can go second go potty. Gotta put on my signature Riverbend hat when I work here. I like to wear my hat so my hair doesn't get all on my face. My hair starts to look crazy out here anyway. My shoes get super dusty and dirty so I just put them in the truck. I truly have the toughest time finding comfortable shoes. 
Do you know what the most comfortable shoes are? Put them down in the comments below. I will try them out, I promise. Maybe not 100% promise, because it depends on what they are and what they look like and all that, but, because I am still a little bit picky about what shoes I wear. But as I'm getting older and my feet are hurting more, I'm way less picky. Okay, so we get our beverages ready in the morning. I'm gonna refill Juliette's coffee. I have my allergy tea right here. I just popped a Claritin too because that pollen in ain't no joke. We're taking you around today, showing you the preparation it's gonna take to get ready for the eclipse. So this area is going to be super busy. That's what we hear. We're preparing for RV campers. We're preparing for tent campers, which typically they don't have tent campers this time of year here. We're preparing for cabin stays and motel rooms. We have all of that here at Riverbend on the Frio. It's gonna and be then, crazy. And then we're also preparing for day use so people can come in for the day, uh, witness the eclipse, and then go on their merry way. It's all just up in the air right now. Everyone's predicting how many people are gonna be here. 10,000 people. It's gonna be crazy, bumper to bumper. No one's gonna have anywhere to stay. Well, we're here for it. Yay, we're excited. <laughs> We only really only have two days until everybody starts showing up, most of the people. Saturday. And we're gonna show you the kind of work that we do as work campers. Burr! It's a chilly morning, it's so nice. <laughs> we're gonna put a lot of sheets on a lot of beds. You're coming along. In preparation for the solar eclipse, all of these indoor units are rented out. So we're going to be putting sheets and comforters on them right now. On the beds. On the beds. On the beds. On the beds! This is a twin flat. So each room that we're doing has two full-size beds and two twin-size beds. He said yes. We couldn't do it without you, Winston. You just work so hard all day long. It's already really warm. This is so good. Good. It's always better when someone else makes it. We got some fresh eggs, some turkey sausage, some cheese in there. We get eggs from here because there's so many chickens that live here. These are the cabin units. They're really spacious. They're like tiny homes. A lot of room. It would be big for us. Yes. I would love this as my house, honestly. Wait till you see the back and there's like this beautiful windows that wrap around. You can see all these trees and the green lushness out the windows. You can see Winston's silhouette from here. Can you see that? Look at that little guy. Winston! This room check all made all pretty ready for the people nice and cozy in this little cabin if me and amber ever get a tiny home i want it to be kind of like this i guess maybe we don't really need the separation i'd want it to just be like one open layout mm, it would be kind of nice maybe one day we'll build our own now we are cleaning out the rvs so they do have rv rentals available here at riverbend it's like a newer thing um it's really nice to have these available for people who don't have rvs want to go camping in an rv during the summertime they only allow rvs here at riverbend so it's a really easy way for people like they don't have to tow in their own rv and we're cleaning this one out what you doing i'm about to clean this toilet Ooh, I'm, that dirty. Gonna, I'm gonna fill it up halfway with water, put the solution in, let it sit. Yes. That's what I'm gonna do. These are so spacious. That is the end of our work day. It was a good work day, super productive. Got all three of the RV rentals ready to go. So now what do we do in the evening? I'm gonna have a little after work beer. This is Love Street Blonde by Carbock. Carbock is one of the only breweries that sells beer in these parts. Even when we went to HEB, there was no selection. This is what I'm drinking. And Juliette's is looking extremely short. I am on okay, a Okay, me and Amber are the same height. Let's get this clear because we've had multiple people we met in real life that Lots said that of people. they think that I'm short. Well, and I, me and I don't know why you're to my chin. Look, look at her Crocs, okay? You have that look of like a tall person. Oh. She has a longer neck than me, but yeah, we're the same height. Let me see. <laughs> wait, wait. I still look short. Let me go on this side of the hill. 
<laughs> it's so funny. How's this look? Well, it's funny because I'll be looking at her and I'll have these on and I'll call her my little shrimp. <laughs> Especially with all my pink, I'm looking like a shrimp. <laughs> it's time to cook and watch some YouTube. We're having an easy go on meal right now. We're gonna have some rice, some ground chicken, some vegetables. Let's get to cooking. If we're making anything Asian style, these are my two go-tos. Really simple umami seasoning from Trader Joe's. Bashan's uh, Japanese barbecue sauce. I thought it was Bacon's for the longest, but I think it's Bashan's. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. I have some broccoli and some celery cooking up. Many of you know that I do not drink, so I like to have all kinds of beverages on hand, typically like sweet beverages or sparkling water. Uh, one I've been into lately is cold water infusions. This one's pineapple coconut mango. It's okay, I like it. I put a little bit of uh, stevia in there. Or I love to have sweet tea, and I go with this one, Lipton Unsweet Decaf. Chicken, rice, and veg. That's how we do. Some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds. Thank you. So good. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're Honey I Rome. Love you.